how on earth have we just lost that game to them? How on earth has that just happened? How's it going everybody? It's Charlie and welcome back to the Chatting Leeds YouTube channel for your post-match reaction to Leeds United nil, Newcastle 1. Um, before I get into it, make sure you show some support on this video by smashing the like button. Please subscribe, share all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below. I'm sure there's going to be some very strong opinions after that game. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So... Overall, those Geordies are going to be, oh, how on earth have they just won that game? We battered them. We battered them all game. Possession. I, I thought, well, when I say the chances created, I thought the only thing we lacked today was that edge in the final third. And we didn't test their keeper nowhere near as much as what we should have done. Let's start off with lineups. Then we saw Diego Llorente come back in, um, and Rodrigo come back in as well. We'll get on to Rodrigo um, in a second because um, I want to give him some praise. But the lineup looked fairly strong, apart from James up front. But you know it worked last week at West Ham, so I was feeling quite positive still. Um, from the get go, Leeds. Rafinha was getting in behind so many times, but there was no one in the box when he was passing it in to the box. There was nobody there, no one supporting him. Or if there was, he just didn't pick them out. For Rafinha in, in the second half, especially, his passing was awful. It was so off it. Um, there'll be people that will argue that Newcastle must have. Defended really well. They didn't. Like, we, we were all over them. That is just one of them games where we were the much better side, but it just wasn't enough. And first half especially, we were, as I said, getting in behind. The passing was good. We were counter-attacking all the time. We were always on front foot. Thought Ayling had a good game. Thought Harrison was decent as well. Um, but there was one opportunity where James gets played in. He's in behind and he's on edge at box with ball and you could tell he just didn't know what to do because he's not a striker. He didn't know whether to shoot, take his man on, give it to Rafinha. He just didn't know what to do. Some of the crosses into box today were poor as well, but I, I, I did feel overall Leeds were the better team. But... Um, there's not really a lot to talk about from first half other than that Leeds were the better team at half time. I was thinking if we keep at them like this, something's got to give. Um, they were time wasting all game, which every team that comes down to Welland Road seems to do that lately, which is very frustrating. And the ref was crap again. Um, couldn't control the game at all. Could that ref? He was awful. Um, but yeah. Moving into the second half then, where some very questionable things started to happen. Um, again, the time wasting started. The ref um, was just letting them do whatever they wanted. They were going down left, right and centre. St Maximan was moaning every time he got touched. I thought we handled St Maximan quite well, um, all things considered. It did beat our man a few times, but... I felt we handled him quite well. We handled Chris Wood really well as well. He was crap, just like he was for Burnley a few weeks ago against us. Trippier didn't really have that much of an impact in game. I thought in first half, the amount of space that he was letting Harrison in behind with all the time was a joke. A player of his experience should not be letting players that easily in behind. Um, but second half, yeah, there was a bit of... A drop off from Leeds, but I still felt like we were the better team, and I did think that something had to give in the end. And if we kept pressuring them, that something would happen. And then one questionable thing happened where Dan James gets brought off. Fair enough, um, wasn't his sort of game really where he could make much of an impact, but that's fine. And he brought Tyler Roberts on. Now, I'm going to caveat this by saying that Roberts earlier on in the season, a few weeks ago. He was playing well. 
and he warranted his place in our starting eleven. After today, I seriously have to question when we're a goal down or if it's nil nil and you know the game's a bit tight. When Bielsa turns round and has a look at his subs that he's got available, what makes him look at Tyler Roberts and thinks, you're the man to make an impact, you're the man to come on, assist or score a goal? I love Bielsa, but I do not get what his obsession is with Tyler Roberts. If it were up to me, I'd use this window and either loan him out or just get some money in for him because someone will buy him. You know... He was kind of at fault for their goal in the sense of that he had it in their half on the attack. Tried to pirouette like he always does and he fell over his own feet. They get the ball off him, ump it upfield to St Maximan. Llorente has to make that foul, otherwise St Maximan's in. Gets booked, it's a free kick to them and Shelby puts it in. Now, I haven't seen it back at the time of recording this. But I have heard that the goalkeeping from Melier was very poor. From where I was in South Stand, it looked like it took a slight deflection. But even so, he probably should have saved that. How it's ended up in net, I do not know. But then, I just knew once they scored that they'd be on, they'd be parking bus and they'd be just defending for their lives. And that's exactly what happened. Um, once they scored, you knew it was just going to finish 1-0. Up until they scored, I did feel like it had nil-nil written all over it. I thought the amount of half chances we had, the amount of possession, we just couldn't break them down. But then again, they didn't really do much either. I thought nil-nil would have been fair. And like I said in my preview, we just need to avoid defeat. Obviously, we haven't avoided defeat. We've we've lost the game. Um, but Newcastle can't be happy about that performance. Even their fans that were at Ellen Road today, that's why they were going so mental, because they were probably thinking, how the how the F have they lost? I mean, have they won that game? How? They offered nothing, nothing going forward. Yes, there was the odd little dance about from St Maximum, but other than that, you know, nothing. Then we decide to bring Gellar on when the damage has already been done. So there's certain times this season where Bielsa's subs have been so questionable. And Gellar should have been first man on for me. It were crying out for Gellar, especially at first half. The amount of times Rafinha were in behind, the balls they were playing in. Gellar, or a Bamford type player, meets them balls. I'm not saying the score, but at least get someone on target with them. Some balls, even like Dallas played one in and it just sailed all over players in it and out for a goal kick. I was thinking, you had time to look up. How were you putting the ball out for a goal kick? Even if they head the ball out, you get it so that there's a challenge at least to be won. And oh, it was just very, very frustrating day at the office today, guys. Very, very frustrating. Um, but Rodrigo, as I touched upon earlier, he was my man of the match for Leeds today. I thought he looked really lively. He wanted the ball. He wasn't afraid to take a man on. He would try to always um, looking forward rather than back. And, you know, I I just thought he, he looked like he wanted to do something. I thought Click was okay until he came off. Harrison was all right. Rafinha was... Good, but his, his passing in the second half was shocking. Um, for the defence were quite good. It was nice to have Llorente and Pascal, which is my preferred centre-back partnership playing. Um, yes, they've conceded a goal, but it was a set piece. Nothing from open play. I thought in open play, I thought they handled Newcastle quite well. But yeah, I mean, I have to touch upon it again, guys. It might sound like I'm ranting, but Tyler Roberts, like, what does Bielsa see in him? Like I said, when he looks at the subs, why does he pick Roberts? Why? Why? Newcastle are lucky to get those three points. I could kind of deal with it a bit better if we'd have just been crap and they'd have outplayed us, but it was completely the other way around, but yet we've lost the game. Last week at West Ham, it was a proper fight. We, we proper slugged it out until end... 
We got the win today, all over them, but came up short. Now, the only positive that I can take from this is our performance and that it was really promising. And if we play like that in coming weeks, we will get results. Our next home game is against Man United, which I can't wait for. Um, but we've got Aston Villa away and Everton away in the meantime. Everton, how they're playing at the minute. I know I said it about Newcastle, but we should be beating Everton with their club state at the minute. Villa will be tough. Really tough fixture, will that one. Um, but I said it in preview. I said it to my dad last night. Even if Newcastle beat us, which they have, but they're still rubbish for me. Like, I... How they played is not from... They didn't play like a team that have the ability to stay up. Unless they make some signings over it next week or so that are really good. I still can't see them staying up. And we've only taken a point from them in two games. How? They were shocking. But that's just the way football is sometimes, isn't it, people? But yeah, um, I'll um, stop ranting now. Um, but yeah, very frustrating day at the office, guys. But if you could do me a solid and hit that like button, smash the subscribe button. As I said, share all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And I'll see you um, in my player ratings, which will be on tomorrow night, people. So make sure that you tune in for that. And I'll see you in a bit.